damn. <laughs> You're right, but damn. And you certainly won't be the last. <laughs> oh, I sure won't be. I'm coming. I'm going down, kicking and screaming. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do everything <laughs> I'm I can. I'm getting out of here before the rest of the ship sinks. Exactly. <laughs> All right, but here we go. Getting into our winners finals game one set here. And again, like we mentioned before, this is just Jackal versus Syrup. But things have changed over time. You know, we're not seeing the Wolf versus the Ness like we used to so many times before. Now it's that Steve coming out. Mm-hmm. Got out on here. The characters change. But the players surely don't end this con, the classic. And I just love how much more respect Syrup has, like, in this, in the gameplay, because you understand that Jackal really knows the counterplay to it. And even there, like, not flinching, not going for the down special, knowing that the Reflector can do heaps amount of damage and potentially just kind of straight up kill. So Jackal is just doing so well. Syrup trying to look for a small opening and finally gets one. Mm -hmm. There we go. Dash attack. Can we put that way out there? Still kind of just battling him down. Oh, a little what bit of the awkward. Yeah, I don't I think that might have been a, a clang with the start of up smash and jab, which is very silly. <laughs> it worked out, it worked out. Sarah maintaining alive and now just has it. <laughs> I, actually, I like that. I like that. Hiding the, the pressure plate underneath the block. <laughs> Bro, that was a Fortnite door trap. Yeah, like, right. He's had it ready to go. <laughs> and now you just gotta kind of respect the Jackal. Throwing out way more lasers and utilizing the safe arrows. Understanding like, yeah, you can get your materials, but it doesn't change that you're at 166%. And a stray bear will be able to kind of take it out there. But at the same time, trying to get there is an entirely different story from how well Seraph has been playing all this damage stacking, but finally gets the back row. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a setup. Uh, we actually we've seen Jackal do earlier versus Haven. Uh, just was not able to get it to work. But sometimes oh. just running towards the ledge, turning around, holding shield, and a forward smash, going to be able to even things up pretty quickly. That was that was a jump scare. <laughs> I was not expecting. Oh no, SDI for your life, Jackal. Find your way out of this one and great stuff on there. And then Syrup just kind of says, oh, well, I guess I can't continue anymore. I guess we'll see what you'll do. But almost mm -hmm. catching the jump. But speaking of that one, hoo -hoo, set down. Yeah, that was actually pretty slick. <laughs> Again, dude, what is that? What is that? There's got to be a name for the tech. I mean, not that it's like an actual useful tech. He's definitely just kind of stunned in between stocks, but. Oh, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fast. That was. <laughs> hey, press that button. Come on. Just, you know, you know I'm a button sorry. to press, Jackal. I'm serious. Seeing Jackal like getting spiked and like the the like the small smile and nod, I'm like, oh no, <laughs> that's yeah, gotta that suck. First one was rough, 81. percent This one was like a lot, mm -hmm. a lot that was, lower, right? Yeah, and that was off of like the block, being able to kind of ricochet off of it. Like, <laughs> 69 every time, baby. Mm. It's definitely a little bit tough there. But either way, going to get right into this next game. Probably going to see, uh, you know, also game one is just a good reminder. Just like, all right, I obviously need to play a bit more reserved here. So mm -hmm. definitely dial it back here. You know, probably use a little bit more laser. We'll see how this one plays out. And look at that block kind of securing out on that safety. But great usage of the fair and excellent conversion on there. Thankfully, the up tilt does clank with it, giving a little bit more time so that the second part won't land for a little more damage, but can't get the conversions out of that fair bear, but the crafting table actually striking back against its creator. So Syrup looking for something, but a whiffed up smash is going to lead into a combo, but excellent DI, SDI by Jackal. Mm -hmm. Whoa, <laughs> okay. Um, seeing a lot of very interesting interactions between these yeah. two characters today. That's already a couple very awkward clanks. Uh, yeah, maybe Wolf really is just not that good anymore. <laughs> All right, that's enough of you. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> Wolf's great, never mind. Take it back. Yeah, no, Wolf's, <laughs> just... Wolf's very good. Up smash is very silly. The Fortnite trip. Take your TNT okay. back. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, see, but I mean, he does have a percentage lead here. I mean, I know Syrup's playing a bit more defensive, trying to make sure he gets the right materials, you know, doing his cat mouse setups and whatnot. Uh-oh. But. Nope, you had to go a little bit higher there. I like that aiming the down smash facing the other <laughs> direction first. And yeah, that was very silly as well. Oh my god, it's literally just Looney Tunes. And now SDF for your life. I had a heart. He tried oh. a footstool. That was crazy. Uh, yeah, he definitely tried. <laughs> Sarah just kind of <laughs> blows my mind every single time. Like, look at this. I mean, to be fair, like I've, I've definitely casted Syrup Steve a few times now, and it, it really just kind of keeps getting more and more impressive every time I watch it. Like this, this dude is like so on point with his conversions anyway. Dude, he knew that one was coming. These guys have played so many times. He's like a good anime. 
You know, they only get better with more seasons. And you just get to see more and more mix-ups, more, more money put into the production quality and Syrup, <laughs> speaking of production quality, gets that diamond sword and that's the plot of her, baby. Get out of here. Yep, that big old back air taking out that second stock. <laughs> I'm scared, bro. He's gonna jab at you a couple times with this diamond. Hope you're ready for this. Uh oh. Oh wow, the miss grabbed actually didn't get as much damage as I thought he was going to get to. Oh my god. A few straight hits, and now you're at 87% in flash. And now an F smash will kill. And now Syrup's saying, like, well, I'm gonna keep slashing at you, seeing if you're to mess up or screw up somewhere. But instead, maintain that there and <laughs> the impression that Syrup's able to do. Did that just hit from behind? <laughs> Yeah, that was a pretty egregious hitbox. I mean, I think he was throwing out a back air, which is even more messed up, but... Oh, man. <laughs> How do you keep a straight face after just doing that? <laughs> oh, oh, Jackal, oh no. Jackal, there's a blue hedgehog on the select screen. Coward. Select him. <laughs> select him. Select him right now. No, leave me alone. Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I'm just saying, he's right there. All right, he's gonna keep going with the wolf. Honestly, I do not blame him. Like, especially when you're just playing like your weeklies, your your, lo your locals and whatnot. Like, um, it's just not a bad idea to just keep running into Steve, like just head on with your main. Just try and keep figuring some stuff out. Obviously, you want to win as much as possible, but locals are also just a really good spot to practice a bunch of stuff too. So. And just seeing like the wolf again, it's like the Sisyphus, like just keep on pushing that boulder. You know, like I can <laughs> I can win this matchup. I can do it. The block coming in. And then I've said it once, I'll say it again, man. Block is Steve's best move, man. It doesn't even do any damage. Absolutely insane. <laughs> the best part is didn't even tech off the block. Literally just got sent straight up and now had stage positioning because of it. Yep. And now you're getting sent over there. Cuts off early knowing that the SDI on Jackal is good enough. Has this nice setup. Everything, it, it's, it's all looking serious up right now it's just really rough on there setting it up once again so you're just like here's another block for your troubles good luck getting out of this one and there we go jackal finds the way out mm -hmm. all right there we go forward throw just trying to put some additional pressure on him tries to get that back here honestly was right on the positioning right on the money for it but uh that shield just came up a little too quick this is a terrifying like geometry setup oh my god and now <laughs> how much you study uh I play Smash, so, you know, not, not looking too good. <laughs> That's the other side of it, too, man, is the fact that he's just able to walk while jabbing or up tilting is like that. It's so huge because, like, you do get a hit and you can just move yourself away. Like, it's it's so non committal. It's like the, you remember that Hungry Box thread? Why can't you up tilt while walking? Hey, listen, I'm going to be honest. He was spitting on all of that. <laughs> he, he was actually spitting. Like, he he definitely is a salt lord sometimes. Do not get me wrong. But what did he say that was wrong there? Nothing. It was real funny. <laughs> I just love just the voice of it, too. He's like, who can move while up tilting? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> You wait until the second one hits your shield and you roll away. That's what you yeah. do. I, just, I love Rock, man. He's just like, yeah, here's a two paragraph explanation of what you have to do. And Hungry Box is like, I want to get mad. <laughs> Dude, no, it's not even just that. Look, I, I like what Rock Man's doing. He's trying to bring some actual stuff to it. But the fact that I have seen this guy release 50 million different <laughs> counterplays does not help your character at all. You are releasing 50 million oh, no. different counterplays. <laughs> yeah, there's something called mental stack. You know, it's going to light up. You can't get them all ticked off the floor. <laughs> the block gets a combo off of it. Great SDI does not matter. You got caught slipping and now it's another block setup. Thankfully, the wolf flash is able to bring yourself out there. But Skiff, this is looking bad. Yeah, this is not looking too good right now. I mean, Jackal can certainly find a way to turn this around, but you just basically have to remain untouched for the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. Especially all these back here she's throwing out. My goodness. Yeah, speaking of bear, connecting with one tries to go for an F smash, but that roll distance is crazy. Able to break yourself out. No air dodge on there, setting it up there. There was like three million things that just flew out there. Thankfully able to charge it up there, but still cannot secure a stock in that crafting table, gating in the way syrup maintaining this lead but excellent okay. awareness by jackal to get the wolf flash uh yeah that was certainly an option <laughs> but you know what sometimes you got to do the stuff that your opponent's really not expecting to be able to kill steve you know dude he is up tilting once and then dashing immediately because he knows a roll's coming and he's trying to get a huge punish out of it and that's that's like that's like the rough part you can just you can just like hit confirm saying that if one up tilt connects and i can go ahead and just keep doing it but if one doesn't i'm so plus that i can walk away and see what you're gonna do and now wolf here's a wall 
Can you find your way out of it? Yes, you can, but now you gotta be careful of a stray hit from Syrup, but I think that's no irons available, so there we go. Jackal, babe. It's Jackal, babe. There was one iron available. Dude, Jackal, it. Jingleheimer, Smith. Uh -huh. His name was my name, too. That's a lot of J's. My goodness, but that was some real good stuff. I mean, you can't cow Jackal out. This is the caliber of the player. I mean, the up smash is just missing. And then we're just afraid to go for the anvil because of the shine presence. And even Syrup understood it. Whew. Three, two, this one is going to do it. Hey, speaking of jingle, sounds like a little Christmas song coming up there on the OST for this yeah, day. I <laughs> no idea what this song is. <laughs> Frozen Geeks. It's, oh, a, okay. it's a banjo stage, I think. Oh, is it? All right. Like, because uh, I only hear it briefly and then it just kind of fades out. So, <laughs> yeah. But it's like the uh, it's like the song songle wordle. You got to guess it from the first uh, first few notes. Get on there. Oh no, you got parried. Y'all know the vibes. Easy fifty two, just like that. And that was a straight uh oh. Yeah, no. He see he was able to hug the wall close <coughs> enough that he just was that was not going to be an issue at all. Mm -hmm. but there we go, getting some solid damage here. And yeah, sometimes you got to go down o two and you just start remembering how you're supposed to play the game here. Uh -oh. uh, that was a little unfortunate, <laughs> but that was just you pressing laser when you probably shouldn't have. Yeah. You're talking about remembering things and just a big old anvil came down sliding onto your cranium. Uh oh, that's going to be a good Listen, amount. you can remember an anvil as many times as you want. It's still going to hit you in the head the same way. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Everyone's got a plan to get hit directly into the face and air dodge burned. Maybe an opportunity for a two frame. No, the bear and yep, yeah, miss space on there. That's going to be a quick one two as Syrup is to go ahead and stick to getting those resources rolling away from it. I love it. And now no punish on that grab though, and just uses a raw minecart to get themselves out of the corner and calling out the jump. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right, just gets right up into that. Oh, Tries no. to get a big punish. Oh, oh no. Yeah, that's definitely a rough one right there. Three socks to one, his smile and optimism gone. <laughs> We're back to the... <laughs> We're back to the levels of grief. There's no I more do, acceptance. I do think more Steves just need to throw out minecart and then just sit in minecart and just ride back and forth on the stage. I'm going to be real. Yeah. Be able to experience knowing how to drive when you don't have a license. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's literally the way most of these kids are getting their license here right now playing minecart. Minecart. Now, don't get thrown into that block. There we go. Knew it. So the up tilt going to secure it out there. I mean, you can't cow jackal out, but Sierra with diamonds on a fresh stock. Uh, I don't know. It, it, it could be real rough and Jack was just kind of having to look at the wall in despair saying, what can I do? And Syrup says, well, you can get hit up with a nice fresh little combo that took you up on there and actually slipped up on top of that plug. Mm -hmm. oh, down throw forward. Ooh, dash attack, excuse me. Oh, man. This, this song is perfect. Like the goofy sound. It's actually sound. funny because you were asking, like, uh, well, I was asking, and mm -hmm. then you kind of, like, you're like, I think it's this song from Banjo, and then Skew pops in and t tells us exactly what it of is. Of course it would be Skew. Uh, yeah, right, of course. <laughs> you mentioned Banjo and Kazooie Skew. He's like, no, I, here's, here's the exact, here's the exact location, the timing, when it was made. Here's, here's the time frame about what exactly you're talking about. Okay, you're going a little too in on Skew. Uh, that's my Excuse Banjo my Goat. Skew's my <laughs> homie too. Don't worry about it. You know that I love you, Skew. But you're just popping in there. That was just perfectly timed. But timing is just something that Jackal is running out of as Syrup just keeps on pelting it on with these attacks. Doesn't get the grab, unfortunately. But I don't know. Skip, I said last time, do we get a repeat? I mean, we could very well. I mean, it is Jackal. This is kind of what he does. 121. It's just, again, trying to play that typical jackal play style lots of feints lots of additional movement to keep your opponent guessing oh. and yeah we could be in a bad moment Ooh. here for syrup and this would be bad for the mental too to drop two games in a row oh, yeah oh boy. oh my god dude that's <clears throat> so much damage no way who's the protagonist in this situation jackal got it down there looking for a straight attack just barely weaves around great usage of the nair and now challenging on there but you don't expect the 1700 my cart and jackal gets hit by it so syrup will be moving on to the winner's side nobody expects the 1700th minecart. <laughs> and you talked about it earlier why don't they just write it out a little longer <laughs> and then syrup is okay <laughs> and just hits jackal with some vehicular manslaughter yeah. And just being able to get it in his grand finals. But man, Jackal, you just can't count that guy out. No, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> you, you can't, dude. He's he's just really good. Uh, he, he's There's always a chance he's going to be able to make a comeback, right? And it's just like, it's like he's one of those players that 
I'm not saying he enjoys going down three stocks to one, but he definitely plays a bit different when he's in that scenario. Oh, <laughs> so boy. maybe he enjoys it. I don't know. But he, he plays like an absolute god when he's behind and he, there's a chance that he has a you know comeback potential. But either way, man, Syrup has honestly just been playing super phenomenal. <laughs> uh, like we saw with the set against Undead Brain Dead, like that second game just went absolutely ballistic, just knew everything that his opponent wanted and just kind of kept that same confidence and momentum into these winners finals here. Oh yeah, and just being able to just kind of keep that mental stack going, so many options to think about and you know, didn't let it go. And finally the minecart was able to land its mark and some real good stuff on the con. <laughs> that was funny. Like being able to just kind of hit it up on there. I mean, still you should have survived because you just do a minecart and then just drop it at up B. But at the same time, it just damaged to the mental. And it was just kudos to Jackal for actually making that comeback on this game. I mean, 144 to 56. Found a few straight openings in there where Seraph just couldn't land, was too scared about using any iron using the anvil. And Jackal was able to get it out there. But on that last game, Seraph was just able to just maintain that control. Mm-hmm. All right, well, hey, looks like we're actually gonna be taking a quick little break, but before that, you know what we gotta do? We gotta talk about some ads here real quick oh, yeah. uh, while we kind of go through all these replays. Look at this, lovely stuff. <laughs> That's production, baby. Oh man, like, look at this. Uh, this uh, was actually like a wild <coughs> comeback, like just everything from start to finish. He was literally kind of yeah. taking them from one side of the stage to the other side of the stage, back airs, putting them <laughs> off stage into a lot of positioning. And yeah, you saw him roll his eyes, yeah. <laughs> That's uh, that's the jackal baby. That's that was a, that was a zomba level eye roll. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But well, anyway, hey, let's talk about the New Jersey Smash Circuit, July yeah. 9th, which you know started last month, going all the way to December 22nd. It's gonna be a $2,500 prize pool. You see these events under.